Hello, thank you for coming back. We're now going to work on what's called the combining or also merging shapes. In 2010, it's called combining, and 2013 version of PowerPoint is called merging shapes, and it is not available in the 2007 version. So it, you can't readily find it in the 2010 version of PowerPoint for PC. So a way to do that is you go to your quick access toolbar and you click the little down arrow and then you go to more commands and when you do that then go ahead and then choose all commands and the option you want to choose is called combining shapes. I don't have that option in this one because I have 2013 and once I find the one I want to add so um, let me find another one I could add. I'm just going to choose add a shape below and add it, and I can add it there to my um, quick access toolbar. So that's how you would do it. But remember, you want to find the one that's called combining shapes. I'm going to remove it because I actually don't want that on mine. But you would go ahead and leave it there, and then you would hit OK, and then it would be available. And it's going to look just like this option here. And this one's called combine shapes when it's on the quick access toolbar in this case. So let me show you now how to actually use that option, that function. So I'm going to go back to the template I've been using and remember we've actually grouped each one of these. However, this little person is also of four shapes but it's not grouped. So what I can do is I'm going to merge this so this is actually one shape. I'm going to go ahead and click on each one of the shapes. So click on one shape, holding the control each time, click on the others and then on 2013, if I go to the Format tab, and then I have this option that's built in that's called Merge Shapes. That's the one I want. And I have um, Union I can use. I can have Combine. Um, as you can see, each one of these does something slightly different. So the Combine removed the areas that overlapped of the shapes. Fragment just makes it look a little fragmented. I have intersect, which in this case removed all of them because they all intersect, and then subtract. And it'll do different things, also depending on the order in which you clicked on the different shapes. So since I had clicked on the head first, it kept the head and subtracted all the other parts. And the 2010 version, I think, does not have the fragment. So in this case, since I want it to be just one shape, I can go to Union. And when I do that now, it's, it's truly just one shape. And that's how you can create one shape. But let me show you something that's really cool. So if I had, you may be wondering how is this useful, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to insert a shape. In this case, I'm going to insert a square. And it defaults to blue. Well, at least blue is set as a default for mine. It doesn't matter. If I wanted to color match it, I could click on one of these um, and then click on the little color, the format painter, and color it that way. No big deal. I don't have to. And I'm going to remove then or subtract a shape. So I'm going to show you how this can be useful. So I'm going to go back to shapes and let me do a star. And if I want to start to turn out perfectly, I hold down the shift key on my keyboard and I draw it out. And that will draw proportionately. And I can put that in. And I'm going to go back and use another skill I already showed you, which is the alignment. So if I click on the square and then holding down the control key on my keyboard and the, the star in this case. And let's say I want to make sure the star is in the very center of my square. So what I can do is do that and I go, go to align and do align center and then align middle and now it's definitely in the center of my square. And then what I can do is I can go to, remember in 2013 it's under the format tab and go to merge shapes and I can do subtract and it will subtract that circle. Now remember this option is not available in 2007 at all and in 2010 I have to activate it and will be located on my quick access toolbar. So I can go ahead and use subtract. One thing I could do is intersect but then it's just the star which I could have drawn by myself. There's a the fragment, there's the combine, and there's the union. 
So in this case, I just want the subtract because I actually want it subtracted from that so that as I move this now, I can see things behind it. If I had done combine, it would essentially just put a white star on there that had no transparency. So it depends on the effect you want to do. So that's how you can go ahead and use the combine or the merge functions um, option in PowerPoint. And this is really cool because you can make very custom shapes based on that. So thank you for your time.